Hey you guys here for another Android video. In this video I want to show you guys the YouTube Creator Studio. Uh, this is an app that just came out a couple weeks ago and I gotta say I've been using it a lot since it came out. Uh, if you are a YouTube creator, make videos and all that, this is an app that you should actually be using. Uh, right here when you launch it for the first time you're gonna see um, this is a dashboard. Um, right here you got the channel stats right here, you got your recent uploads here and you got your comments over here these are just the highlighted comments but let's say if you want to get into one of them like for example if I want to get into the views I could just tap right there and from right here I could see the details of the views in the last 28 days I could go here and see the detailed views of the last seven days or I could go ahead click over here and see the views of all time ever since you opened the YouTube channel which is a very nice thing to have over here um, over here if I slide to the side if you tap right here if you have other YouTube channels you could go ahead and tap right there and go to your YouTube channels right there uh, this is a private uh, YouTube channel that I have uh, but you could go there and you could go ahead back to the whatever YouTube channel you're using very very easily if you go over here of course this is the home screen which is the dashboard here you go to straight to the videos and right here you're gonna see all your recent videos if you tap right here you can see you can switch to all your popular videos. Uh, popular videos are determined by the views. Like you see there, very, very nice. You can tap right here again, go back to recent. Um, also, if you tap right here, click right there uh, on one of the videos. The great thing here, if you want to answer um, some questions on the videos, uh, the videos won't automatically start, which is good. Uh, here, if you tap right there, you could go ahead and edit the video. You can edit the, the the title. You could edit the description. You could add more to the description there. Um, here you can um, change it to public, unlisted, or private. Here you got more settings over here. You could change the category if you want of the video. Uh, here you can change the standard YouTube license. Uh, over here you can also allow or disallow people from commenting in your videos. Uh, users can view ratings for this video. You could let that there. Allow embedding. If you don't want to allow embedding, you could just turn it off. But I leave it on. I, I don't really care with that. And age restriction. If you want to enable age restriction, all you got to go ahead and put right there. Turn it on. And off that's it once you're done you just click save in the video of um, any changes that you did will, will be implemented to the video uh, right here if you want to share a link of this video on somewhere else you could go ahead and tap right there and it will automatically copy it to your clipboard or you click right here and it, you could share it with other uh, sites like Facebook YouTube um, uh, all social networks um, here you can see the re real-time stats of this this video in the last 72 hours um, here you got the video stats uh, views and minutes washed um, here you got the comments um, you can click here to see all and the great thing that I like about this is that you can actually see uh, the spam if there's any comment that has been marked by as spam by YouTube you can see it right there and you can publish it if you think it's not a real spam which is not bad That's a very good feature to to have also here if you want you could just tap right there and you can answer any question very easily you could thumbs up the question you could delete the questions and you could flag it or easily you could go ahead and and that was you know it says right here that was a beautiful vow I, I, I could go ahead and answer the questions like there boom just like that and the comment is posted very very easily very cool so let's go ahead back over here and back over here uh, comments uh, the great thing here in comments is that you can see the comments published on every single video so when you go here you can see all the comments on every video you can see the comment and you can see where the comment is on what video the comment is asked on uh, for example when is minecraft going on you can see the video the comment is on this video my top upcoming here yeah, I could go ahead there And that's it very very easily and of course if I want to see the spams very easily I can see here any comment that has been laid out as a spam if I want to accept uh, uh, one of those messages I just go ahead click right there 
and the comment has been approved. Uh, that's very good as a as a as a YouTube creator. That's a feature that's very nice to have right there. And over here, if you go to analytics, you can see a little bit more detailed the options here. You got views, you got minutes watched, minutes watched, and you got subscribers. You got the engagement, um, so over six thousand likes and under around 700 dislikes 710 dislikes in the last 28 days um here minutes watched on every single one of them you could tap and you could go by seven days you go by 28 days you could go by three months one year and of course all time right there very cool and uh one thing that i noticed here is that they took away there was another option here there was another an analyst over here that said earned that that would that would mean the earn money that you earn using the YouTube um, ads. Uh, there was an option right there. I don't know what happened. I think there was an update, an auto update, and it eliminated that. So I don't know why they eliminated that, but it used to be right there. So I think that should be there. I don't know why they took it away. Um, over here, if you want to go to the YouTube videos, you could just go ahead back to the YouTube videos. Like you see right there, you can go to your YouTube app and watch any videos that you want. If you click back, it will take you back over here to your um, YouTube creator app uh, very, very easily. Um, this app is very, very nice. I like it. I use it a lot. But one thing that it needs to do, it's not perfect. Uh, there, There's no option to have a private message um section because um like you guys know in the comments area you always get you can always private message somebody and that message or that um comment whatever it's only between you and the person asking the question um here there's no option for that so i suggest for youtube or whoever created this app to please add the private message section that would be very very nice because right here all you can do is Check your publish, highlight, held for review, and mark that spam, spam messages. That's all you can actually do. There's no section for private message. That's one thing that should be added there. Another thing that should be fixed is that on the on the tablet, um, this app does not translate well. It just look it just looks like a blown up um phone app which kind of sucks if you have one a, a, a 10 inch tablet like I do um, and and when you rotate it doesn't rotate at all so it stays only on portrait mode which kind of sucks for a big big tablet so I hope they actually update that brings us a better um, um, viewing option for the tablet because uh, as it is right now my my preferred platform to use this um, app is on the phone because it's the best way it works. Um, over here, it also has um, notifications. I don't know what the notifications are for because I haven't received any single notifications. But hey, it's there. Uh, maybe later on in the future, I'll be getting notifications. And that's it, guys. Uh, just want to show you guys uh, the YouTube Creation Studio. Uh, this is an app that you should have if you are making YouTube videos and you want to keep up to date with all the stats that you you are you know accumulating and all that. Um, it's very easy and a lot better to answer to comments if you receive lots and lots and lots and lots of comments like I do. It's way better to answer go to from one comment to another to another to another without having to um, watching the video because the one thing that I hate about the YouTube app. Uh, regular YouTube app uh, I'm answering question is that every time I want to go to answer a question in a YouTube video the video automatically starts which for me becomes annoying because I don't want the video to start I just want to answer the question so this right here fixes the problem you can answer a question from one video and go to another video and answer another question go to another video answer a question and like this just like that and that's it guys so i hope you guys like the video let me know what you guys think about it and let me know what you would like for youtube to add to the creation uh creators studio app which for me like i said is great but it's not perfect i want the private messages section and i want i want a better um tablet experience one so thanks for watching guys till next time